Oh, nee, the drop. Did you see that drop? Um, so we've done 287 kilometers over today. And um, then the car overheated all of a sudden. No warning. And it's leaking oil again. We've stopped. Put a little bit of oil in. Put some water in. We're waiting for the car to cool down, but um, it, it happened so suddenly. Yeah. Um, and it, the car was driving like a dream. Yeah, we were passing about 15 trucks. <laughs> yeah. And then it's like, yeah. no, not anymore. Yeah, anymore, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So we've got about 40 k's to the closest um, town and shell. Civilization. We don't have cell phone reception, so we're going to nurse the car there. Keep the revs low um, and take it slow and um, freewheel down all the um, downhills. Luckily, we've done, uh, we hope, most of the uphills, so it should be easier going. Um, we're not sure how much more hills are ahead of us, and yeah, and get it to a mechanic. Um, unfortunately, it's Saturday lunchtime, yeah. so most of them are going to be closed probably till Monday. Yeah. So we might be spending a, a few days at a petrol station. Oh, two days. Yeah. And then Monday, um, find a mechanic, or if we can, find a mechanic today. But even if we find one today, they're not that eager to work over a weekend. No, if they work on the car on Monday, This has happened the second time. Um, we've done 2,000 kilometers plus minus um, since the last oil leak. Um, so that's not good news. Yeah, yeah we, we want the permanent fix. Um, last time they couldn't uh, get the Nice cool breeze supplied by trucks. Last time they couldn't get the actual gasket, so they use a type of um, silicone glue to seal the engine, and there was a, a, a seal for the oil pump that they replaced. So uh, they could not find the exact part for this car, so that might be part of the problem. And that might be the problem again if they can, cannot find it. Mm. The symptoms is very similar. Yeah. But um, last time we noticed it sooner. It happened last time the car didn't overheat. Mm. Last time the engine light, the, the oil light came on and we put oil in and then it was only the oil light. It wasn't, this time the car made a funny sound, slowed down and it was just all alarms on. So. Yeah. Okay, so we'll um, wish us luck. We'll see how it goes over the next hour or so. Mm. So as you can see, Tabatini is driving without a driver. After our little oil leak, we've decided to um, take the car back to Brasilia. So we're currently on a tow truck. Driving very fast. We are going extremely fast. 111 kilometers an hour. It's a little bit bouncy. But we've decided it's better to uh, bite the bullet, get the car back to Brasilia and get a mechanic to sort this out once and for all. It's costing us a pretty bundle. <laughs> but yeah, um, we hope this is the best course of action. Get the car sorted so that it doesn't happen again because it uh, was about 2,000 kilometers and the oil uh, reoccurred. The car got very hot. But yeah, I wish us well. Okay, so since that last sad scene with Tabatini, the tough little guy on a truck, we've been waiting and working in this Airbnb. In Brasilia. Still in Brazil, yes, still in Brazil, yeah. um, and waiting for parts. So it took quite a while to get parts. We've decided to do a proper engine overhaul and get a proper, proper job done, not just like a quick fix. 
so it's taken a little bit of patience. Karin's managed to um, do some work and get some jogging in. Thank guys. And um, yeah, now it's um, what two and a half weeks. It's Friday, um, and we've all the parts arrived on Tuesday. Wednesday was a public holiday, and they've been working on the car. Um, we hope that is it. I'm not sure. We're going to head off to the mechanic later today to go and have a look. And um, yeah, so we've been, we haven't filmed much because we've just been working and editing. I've never been so far ahead in my editing for our patrons and for all our YouTube viewers. But yeah, um, trying to stay productive so we don't get too irritated and trying to have some fun. So, honey, you wanted to stay in the same place for for two weeks. <laughs> yeah, careful what you wish for. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Like maybe just get it more <laughs> in in a different form. So, yeah. Well. Yeah, Karin's been saying we must stay in the same place for a bit, stop moving so fast. We were, the plan was to do it at the coast and at the beach, uh, but now we've been doing it in the suburbs in Brasilia. Yeah, we just tried to find an affordable Airbnb, so it hasn't been the most stimulating surroundings. But yeah, we'll see um, a bit later today once we go. We're heading, or once we call our Uber and we're off to the mechanic. Where's the car again? What's the place called? Mechanica Toyota? Mecha no, Mechanica Moser. Moser, yeah. But they are Toyota specialists. They've they been very professional, keeping us up to date. Um, that the biggest part of our wait was for the parts. The car parts took about two weeks to get here. Um, and I think they only needed like two or three days to put everything in the operation. Um, so we'll see today. Mm. Yeah, and they um, they want to use proper Toyota parts, not pirate parts. If we if we wanted to use pirate parts, it could have been a bit quicker. But we and wanted cheaper. to yeah yeah and cheaper yeah. But we wanted to use the proper stuff. Okay, so let's go and have a look. So we're on our way back to Mechanica Moza. Hopefully the car is going to be done today. Karin is nervous. She's worried that she forgot to drive, how to drive. It's a real. <laughs> so yeah, wish us, wish us well and um, hold thumbs. And we'll know in about three hours time. We aren't looking good. It's really looking good, not sure if it's done. Karin is trying to remember how to drive. At the end, Mechanica Moser did a full engine overhaul. The top gasket was replaced, the butterfly for the air intake, and the rings were checked, and the engine was pronounced as healthy and good to go. They traced the problem to a uh, water inlet from the radiator to the engine block which was not fastened correctly when uh, original service was done even before we had the engine leak so it wasn't Tavatini's fault it was poor mechanical work after we got the car back the exhaust made a very very strange noise so we hopped over to an exhaust replacement center and they welded on a new flexible part to the exhaust as the exhaust is actually in very good condition. That was the last bit of car trouble we had in Brasilia before we could hit the road and we hope it's the last for our trip although we still got many many kilometers ahead of us as we still needed to cross about half of Brazil. And we are back on the road or more likely in a truck stop. Surrounded by trucks, very happy to have left Brasilia. It was a trying... Close to three a month, um, but now our car is purring. Um, we fixed the exhaust today. Um, she passed the compression test. Yeah, I've got confidence. 100% confidence. Compression test in um, 
actually when we bought it um, was about 110 per cylinder now it was 163 per cylinder so yeah hopefully she'll be light on fuel and we are just happy to head, to head further north um, uh, still the plan to slowly head towards um, Salvador first stop tomorrow will be Alto Paraiso um, small town, nice campsite that uh, our friends the EP Square told us about and we will then see if we can explore a little bit there might be some uh, walks for Karin and some swimming in rivers and maybe some caves and waterfalls we will see what the road brings we are just happy to chill we're gonna eat the sack quite early tonight sleep late tomorrow and then we'll be off let's go and we are back on the road camping in a national park but it's been a few rainy days thunder a bit of lightning and then some rain yesterday we even had hail so it's time to do some washing and a little bit of work and relaxation very nice to be out of an apartment and into the camping mode again even have a full kitchen and a fridge so it's quite too um, glamping for us. Restyling. <laughs> We're sitting under blankets. <laughs> yeah, Kar <laughs> Kar Karin is even <laughs> cold, cold. <laughs> and I've got a long jersey on for the first time in a while. So yeah, tomorrow we're going to head a bit further east towards another, another national park. Hopefully less rain and Karin can take, take a walk or two. In our next episode, we'll head slowly towards Salvador, explore some mountains and go to the Carnival Museum, a very, very funky place. But that's a story for another time, so please remember to like, subscribe and hit that bell icon so you won't miss out on future adventures. Thank you for our Patreons for making these videos possible.